guys, Rambling Roots Wallow here. I want to do a video today about microworms. I feed a lot of them to my fish, and I feel like with how easy they are to keep, not enough people culture them. And they're really super easy. But first I wanted to show you a couple of my tanks here. I don't want to give all my secrets away, but these are my Bleeding Heart Platys not a huge platy fan um i just really liked these so i kind of had to have them there's some lemon blue eye plecos in here as well um see if the betas are out some of my breeders in this tank See who else is out and about. Ugh. Sorry for all the water spots. My tanks uh, <laughs> need the outsides rubbed down. Beta macrostromas. But. Anyway. Oh, oh, one more thing. Let me show you. Show you these guys. Some pleco eggs I have in the fry factory. But anyway, let me get to uh let's get to talking about microworms. <laughs> So here's a vinegar eels. Can't get it to focus too good for you, but you can see them wiggling around in there. These cultures are a little bit newer, so there's not as many in there as I normally have, which makes them a little bit harder to culture. Once the culture gets pretty large, they actually start climbing up the sides like the other worms that I'm going to show you later, and then you can just swipe them out with your pinky to put them in the tank so basically it's just a jar with apple cider vinegar and apples and I keep the lid kind of cracked and then I feed them raw sugar once a week maybe every other week just kind of depending if I forget or not because these guys are just kind of set them on a shelf and don't worry about them until I need them. Very good fry food for some of the really small fry, the betas, and whatever else you guys might have. So here's the other micro worms. I actually had cultures of each type going. Uh, there's banana, Walter, and micro. Um, but I really didn't find the difference in the sizes to be um, that much different to, to keep three cultures of each one. Now the vinegar eels are smaller than any of the uh, any of these that I'm going to show you. But I actually mixed all of mine together and I just keep one culture with all three of the other types mixed in. But this is what it looks like after it's starting to get kind of old. I do have some gnats in here, so some gnats got in there. But it's kind of getting gross, kind of starting to smell. But I really like these types of containers because it has this little air thing that you can open and close, and then I don't have to like poke holes in anything. So that makes it pretty easy. And then here's one that I did a couple days ago. So it's all fresh, and I'll show you how I make it. Um, but you can see the worms, all that glistening is actually the live worms in there. And they'll start to crawl up the sides. And then, same thing as I told you with the vinegar eels, I just swipe my pinky across it and kind of swish it in the tanks, and the fish go nuts for it. I use a lot of different 
foods for the microworms. I like the baby cereal. I think it's the easiest. You can use uh, cooked oatmeal. Uh, I tried instant potatoes. I really didn't like that. I don't think the culture produced as much and I think it kind of smelled a little bit. So I just used the baby cereal and water and I mixed it together. Um, I'll show you. I may have to pause it when I start mixing because I really don't have enough hands. If I just do it right in the container. Gumby's coming to hang out. So let me mix this up and I'll be back. Okay, so I have it all mixed up. Kind of just do like a real thick consistency and then I just smooth it out a little bit. And then take some instant yeast and I just sprinkle a little bit around. Not, not too much here. I just take some here from the old culture. Try not to get the gnats. And just spoon a little bit over. Need a little bit more. that is pretty much it. I just put the lid on and just let it go and whenever it gets real nasty like that is when I start it again. And my flash just died. If I can get a quick video here of the bumblebee gobies eating some of these. Nope. I know it's hard to see, but they are eating them. I just love their little angry faces. But I think that's it for tonight's video. Kisses from my fishes. <laughs>